Yo guys, it's Arcade. Today we join the AI train and create AI generated rap vocals for our house track. The methods I'll be using are completely free, so I'm gonna teach you how you can do it as well. So first we're gonna have this AI girl rap a few verses that we type in. She'll rap whatever you want. Like and subscribe. And then we're gonna have Snoop Dogg himself rap something for our track. I'm the dog father. By the way, Snoop Dogg charges over $250,000 if you want him featured in your track. But watch, because I'm gonna show you how you can do it for free. So let's get started. But first, let's make our house beat. We're gonna keep it simple. So let's start with the drums. So we start with a kick and this offbeat kick. So we have one clean kick and one bassy offbeat kick. Then we can add a hi-hat loop. Then we have this. Then some little snares or percussions to create a nice rhythm. Don't forget to enable the main swing so everything is a bit more groovy. So as you can see, all of these are panned to the different side. This one is left, this one is right, and this one is in the middle. That creates a nice stereo feel in your whole drum loop. So we have this. And then a clap, of course. I have this one and this one. And some effects at the end, like these puffs, they work sort of like a fill. And then for the second part of the drum loop, we add some more hi-hats to make it more exciting. So these are the hi-hats I'm using. Most of them are pretty short. And again, I pan them to the left and right. So not all of the sounds are right in the middle of the mix, but everything is sort of moving around. So this is the rhythm that I created. And then we have one more open eye head, just sprinkled in here and there. And as you can hear at the end, we have this hi hat roll, which you can do really easily. Just put one hi hat after another, like so, and then select it and drag these arrows right here and shorten it like this. And you can change the velocity. Maybe this is too much. You can also make it longer. And we have this right here. So as you can hear, we changed the velocity, but also the panning. So that's our drum beat ready to go. Make sure not to skip this step because the drum beat pretty much drives the whole song. And if you are wondering, all of the samples and presets that I'm using in this track are from my sample pack platform, Staple Sounds, where you only pay once and you get access to all of my current and future sample pack forever. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who is doing this, so check it out, link is below. So once we have the drums, let's add some bass. And once again, I went with something pretty simple. So so I have this deep bass also from staple sounds. Then we have this plucky sound and then a sub bass. And the melody goes like this. As far as the effects go, on this deep bass, I have transient processor, which increases the attack, the initial hit of the bass, and the release, so the sustain of the bass as well. I deleted all the low frequencies from this deep bass, because I actually only want the sub bass to have the low frequencies. I also put kickstart plugin on it, so it's sign chained, so every time the kick hits, the volume of this sound is lowered, so the kick pierces through the mix, and then we have sound glitzer just for good measure. So this deep bass sounds like this. Then we have this plug with the same effects. And then the sub bass, but we want to keep the low frequencies in the sub bass because all the other sounds don't have them. So here is how it sounds together. A nice combination of sounds, the deep bass and the plug play the high frequencies and the sub bass takes care of the low frequencies. Here is how it sounds with the drums. So yeah, that's what we have so far. One more thing I'm gonna add is some effects. So one thing we definitely want is some white noise and we're gonna have that in a form of a crash effect. Again, side chained and then some one shots. So we have this one and I put stereo shaper on it. So it's not in the middle of the mix, but it's more left and right, which creates more space for the middle of the mix. Then I have infiltrator plugin on it with this phase movement preset. Then some EQ to delete the low frequencies because I don't want this to take up space in the mix. So I just wanted like a little effect. So low frequencies were not necessary and kickstart plugin as well to sign chain it. You can also do it with gross beat, go to gross beat, repeater, sign chain A, you have the sign chaining preset there. So it sounds like this all together. 
and that's where we're gonna put the vocals in so we have a lot of space for the vocals the only sounds are the drums and the bass and some effects now let's take a look at the vocals but before we take a look at the vocals i want to show you the second part of the track so one more sound that i added is this hybrid guitar even though it sounds more like a piano which you can also get in the pack So it's a guitar sound, but I like to use it as a piano. And I added this lead as well. So we have this plug, and then we have this big lead. For the effects, we have sound goodizer. To make it more obvious in the mix, remove the low frequencies because we don't need them for the leads. And again, I'm using the Stereo Eyes 2 preset, so it's more left and right instead of in the middle of the mix. And once again, a Kickstarter plugin to sidechain it. So that's the lead. And that is almost it. The last sound that I use is for the Snoop Dogg part and it's this pad. So we have this nice pitch pad and I created some chords here for the transition to Snoop Dogg verse. So that is pretty much it for the beat. It sounds like this. So that is how you make the house beat and you'll be actually able to get the FLP file. Link is in the description. But now let's take a look at how to make the vocals. That's probably what you're most interested about. So let me show you how to do it and how to implement it into the song. So we'll be using two different AIs for this. And the first one is called Typecast. Typecast.ai, not a sponsor. And we select the Vicky rapper right here. And you can pretty much write whatever you want her to say and she'll say it. And you can also set in what tone she says it. So we can do like cry oh no not another AR video so what I want her to say is a twist to the popular song 99 problems so let's do something like this and I want her to yell it oh yo there's 99 problems but a house ain't one and just like that you have a nice vocal phrase that you can use in your track and you can just download it right here so once you have it just put it in your FL studio oh yo there's 99 problems, but a house ain't one. And just make sure it synchronizes well with the beat of your track. So to do that, let's move it around holding the Alt key, starting on the grid, and then enable the metronome. And let's see. There's 99 problems. But As you can see, this goes way too soon. But a house ain't so just select the slice tool, hold the Alt key, slice it here, and make it start wherever you want. There's 99 problems. But a house ain't one. And I want sort of, but a house ain't one. But a house ain't one. So you just move it around to get the desired result. But a house ain't one. But a house ain't one. What you can also do if some word is not working very well, like this ain't. Ain't one. You can also just go back and let her say only the word. Ain't. Then she says it in a more clear way. And you download that. And then you sort of put it in by itself, like right here. Ain't. There's 99 problems. But a house ain't one. So yeah, that's how I did it and our phrase is ready. Now what I want to do to make it sound better and fit better with the song is put some effects on it. So I put some compression on it. There's 99 problems. Then stereo shaper. Again, so it's not in the middle of the mix. There's 99 problems. Some EQ, deleting the low frequencies and boosting the high frequencies. There's 99 problems. So the voice is more clear. Then some reverb. There's 99 problems. I also put Kickstart plugin on it, so it's sign-chained. Now, this might not work for every vocal, depending on what track you are making, but I think in house music, sign-chained vocals work pretty well. So here is how that sounds. So it's gonna be sort of pumping. There's 99 problems, but a house ain't one. And then some more reverb after the sign-chain. There's 99 problems, but a house ain't one. And then we just put it into the whole track. There's 99 problems, but a house ain't one. <laughs> And now you could hear the second part of the vocal where I just take the house ain't one but put some more creative effects on it. So let me show you how to do it. So if you want this deep vocal effect, we use the same vocal, just different effects. So the first effect you wanna use is distortion, set up like this. But a house ain't one. I also rooted this vocal, which is on mixer track number nine. So rooted it to track number eight. You just right click under it, root to this track only, while the nine is selected. So that means it's affected by all of these effects that are on the previous vocal, but it's also affected by these new effects as well. So we have the distortion. But a house ain't one. It's too harsh, so we put some EQ on it, deleting the low and high frequencies, leaving us with something in the middle. But a house ain't 
one. Then I have pitch shifter set to music and lower the pitch by 12 semitones. That gives us this deep vocal effect. And some more reverb. So yeah, we got the first AI rap for our song ready. Now for the more fun part is to have fake Snoop Dogg rap on our track. So let me show you how to do that. So what I used is this fakeu.com and I choose Snoop Dogg version two. So just make sure to use this one. And then you just type in whatever you want Snoop Dogg to say and then press speak. And once again, this is free. So you have to wait a bit to get the vocal and you also have to sign up to download it, but it's all free, so no problem there. I'm the real Snoop Dogg, I promise. So this is rather imperfect, I'm gonna say, but I'm sure it's gonna get better. I'm the dog, the dog, itty too, bog, itty dog. If you use the right words and you cut them up, you're gonna actually end up with something that sounds pretty legit. To make this more interesting, I actually had AI to write the verse that Snoop Dogg is gonna say. So I just asked ChatGPT, give me some Snoop Dogg type rap lyrics, a short verse will do. And here is what it came up with. I'm the dog father, king of the West, rolling down the street, laid back, feeling blessed. Money in my pocket, weed in my hand, got the whole world singing to my command. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> and using the dog father, which was kind of funny. So that's the first verse that I used. So I just put this into the fake you Snoop Dogg voice, but I did make some changes because like the command was not said really well. You can hear. Got the whole world sinking to my command. Command. It doesn't sound like command. I removed that and replaced it with something like let's go. What works, keep it. And when it doesn't work, try to replace it with something else. But in the end, here is the vocal that we have for Snoop Dogg. Here here it is all cut up already. I already showed you how to cut your vocals. So I just did the same thing for this vocal, which was a bit more complex, but just get the timing right and it will sound pretty good. Right, let's go. I'm the dog father, king of the West, rolling down the street, feeling blessed. Money in my pocket, weed in my hand, got the whole world singing, let's go. And then I wanted to have a bit more fun with it. So I just had him say some ridiculous stuff like, alrighty, baby, giggity, boogity. Bang, bang. You know, if you gave Snoop Dogg 250K, I'm sure he would rap this for you anytime. But yeah, I wanted to have some funny phrases for the drop. Alrighty, baby, giggity, boogity, bang, bang. So I just did that. And that, that's funny to me. So yeah, don't judge me. Anyways, so we have the second verse here. Alrighty, baby, giggity, boogity, bang, bang. Bang, bang. And once again, using the same effect as I did for the previous vocal, the distorted deep vocal. Alrighty, baby, giggity, boogity, bang, bang. And this is inspired by Quagmire from Family Guy, I guess. And that's the verse that we have for Snoop Dogg. Imagine paying Snoop Dogg 250k to have him rap this. Worth it. Anyways, now let's put it all together with the song. We have the pass, which introduces the Snoop Dogg rap. And then we have the beat back on with the Alrighty, baby, giggity, boogity. Now, if we put it all together, we have the drum beat. We have the girl rapper, then we have the spats, and then Snoop Dogg. So let's have a listen to the finished result. Also, if you want to get the samples and presets that I used, get staple sounds. You'll also get this FLP file, link is below in the description. And also all the links for the AI generated vocals are there as well. Now let's preview the finished result. So enjoy this AI generated rap. Sing it. Let's go. Alright, baby, giggity, boogity, bang, bang. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out the links below.